Matilda Castro and Judy, she just won a few weeks ago at Lake Merced in Daly City, California. Well, and we're getting kind of used to watching her play now in contention. Will be one of the first Seminoles to to represent her country in the Olympic Games as well. So lots of proud stuff going on there for Matilda and she'll have quite a bit of work though left to do there. 17. And this is Castron for her birdie. I mean, that was very much uphill and still a little bit of work left to do, although that back portion of the green is, is fairly flat. Second shot at the 18th. It's the ninth of the day for this group, and it's Matilda Castron of Finland by way of Florida State. It was a LPGA event, and I still got in, but they've since changed those rules. Castron for birdie just runs out of steam. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense for that for that team and or for that tour, which has far fewer events um, than the LPGA Tour. This is a, a different mindset. It? May not have been as many. But we've, um, heard, we've heard of all of them, though. <laughs> there were some pretty good ones in there you beat. Yeah, uh, well, times. yeah, I, there were some pretty good players. Uh, of course, Mickey being one of them. But uh, Judy Rankin is another one. I mean, I've gone head to her, head with her and lost most of the time. Round number two. Three. Going to go ahead, yes, to see Matilda Castron on this Little par three, whole location right at the very front today and a tiny little portion of the green. She manages to find it though. Three. And this is Matilda Castron for her birdie. Taking advantage of a very nice little little tee shot there on a whole, lo whole location that can really catch players out. How much she enjoys staying at home and being in her own bed, eating what she wants to, knows the area. Matilda Castron at the fourth. She's now tied for the lead. And she'll have that to get to nine under. Again, Jin Young Ko, the overnight leader. Always one to think you should play out a good streak when you're playing well. Um, you know, ride it as long as you can. Beautiful putt. Um, but players now, they make a schedule early in the year and they stick to it. And navigating your way around Old American hasn't been too easy. McCa uh, Matilda Castron Karen is making it look more so than most today. Well, she is on this 175 yard par three. She's hit 12 or 13. She was pretty wise to be smart and play this down out to the left. Just a little bit of work left there for, for her par. She knows it as well. And stay in the lead on her own. You do have to grow into it if you're not used to it, for sure, and really pay attention to it. Our leader, Matilda Castron, third shot at the par five sixth. Good shot underneath the hole. And her start. I'll say she's precise. Excellent. Yeah. Yep, she made that one look very easy as well. It's par threes, they can uh, catch up with you very quickly. This is the par putt at the eighth for Matilda Castron. Look a lot easier on TV than they are when you're standing over them, four feet away, five feet away, to find our leader. And this is Matilda Castron. The uh, whole dog legs round to the right, but the fairway kicks down to the left. A couple of bunkers situated on the right corner. A lot of players will club back to to avoid those, and that's nicely negotiated there. Your, your iron play is pretty good. Yeah, and this one a six iron here. She just takes dead aim and everything. This one actually just a little bit left though. Yeah, now this one's tough. Now Castrin with a ball. tough one. Ball sitting down in the Bermuda rough. I like to lay the face wide open and play it almost like a bunker shot. It's so tough to judge. That was very well done. What a good shot. That week at Metahill. Didn't she ever. 
Mark it down again. Tremendous up and down from the back of the green, from some thick Bermuda grass.